After a decent stint on the PTR, Orisa, Overwatch's latest hero, is now live. She's the third hero to be introduced, but I think it's fair to say the initial reaction was fairly lukewarm when compared to the other new heroes added to the game thus far. I mean, okay, people were sick of the Sombra ARG by the time she eventually rolled around, but still, reaction to Orisa's unveiling was pretty muted. Part of that is down to people really wanting Doomfist, of course, but however you look at it, fans simply didn't seem that excited. I was, though. From the moment I read about her abilities, I felt like we might be onto something really special with Orisa. I tried her out in PTR and couldn't wait to see her come to the main game, and now she's finally live, I'm head over heels in love. So without any further ado, here are seven reasons Orisa is my new bae. Did I get away with saying that? Bay? Almost certainly not. Let's crack on anyway. Number one, bullets for days. One of Arisa's arms isn't an arm at all. It's a fusion driver, effectively a three barrel minigun. And its clip size is absolutely ridiculous. Putting out a steady stream of projectiles that zip across the map to do damage at surprising distances, there's pretty much no reason to stop shooting as Arisa unless you need to get somewhere fast. Now at this point you may be thinking, so what? D.Va has two gun arms and they have infinite ammo. And that is very true, but then D.Va's fusion cannons have a pretty brutal fall off, and each of her projectiles currently does between 0.6 and 2 points of damage, meaning at greater ranges, a steady trickle of damage is about the best you can hope for. Arisa's projectiles, however, do a respectable 12 points of damage, and with 12 shots tumbling out of that thing every second, you can strip an enemy's health down to nothing in a satisfyingly short amount of time. But anyway, sod all the number crunching, just listen to it. I could honestly listen to that thing all day. Number two, getting dug in. Overwatch's tanks all share one significant advantage, namely their survivability, but take a closer look and you'll see how varied these heroes really are. D.Va is a good skirmisher, best suited to nicking at enemy flanks and picking people off in one-on-ones. Winston is good for harassing the enemy, jumping in to chip away at a few of them before getting back out again. Roadhog, meanwhile, is all about momentum, moving constantly through enemy lines as he takes them out one at a time. Zarya is all about damage absorption, powering up her weapon before romping in and slaughtering everybody, and then there's lovely, blessed Reinhardt, who pops up his shield and hopes his teammates don't stuff it up too badly. The nice thing about Arisa, though, is you can establish a line and really hold it. The cooldown on her barrier is pretty short, especially since it ticks down even while an existing barrier is still up. Compare that to the recharge on Reinhardt's shield, for instance, and she can refresh it far more often. With that in mind, you can often set up a defensive perimeter and keep it alive long enough for you to be able to refresh it, ideally pushing the line further forward. And all this time, you're still flinging bullets at the enemy. And it's that versatility to Orisa that I really love, because... And here comes my next point. Number three, she's ambidextrous. In the same way I love playing Lucio because he heals even as he's firing his gun, Orisa can fire out that barrier and protect others while continuing to empty that frankly ridiculous clip into the other team. Similarly, using Fortify, she can cover her own backside while still kicking out damage. It means she can do a lot to keep herself and others alive without having to compromise on damage per second. Now that's something all the other tanks, except Winston, really struggle with. Reinhardt has to drop his shield entirely if he wants to do any damage. D.Va has to stop firing in order to use her defense matrix. Zarya can keep firing, but needs to aim at a teammate in order to stick a shield on them, so really it's all the same thing. Roadhog can heal himself, but he has to stop firing and moving, and he's got nothing to give other teammates. And then there's Orisa. Orisa can do it all, and that's before we even get into the fact Fortify can stop a Reinhardt charge. It's wonderful. And while we're on the topic of covering Orisa's backside, actually. Number four, Orisa looks like a fridge had sex with a horse. That may be a slightly inelegant way of putting things, but then it's also very, very true. Arisa looks like a fridge freezer wandered into a stable, found a nice looking horse and took it on a series of dates before bringing it home and making a really weird baby with a gun for an arm. 
It's safe to say the Overwatch community wasn't exactly enamoured with Orisa's aesthetic when it was first unveiled, but I have to say, I really like it. Okay, I'm not a huge fan of the horns framing her face, but she's basically a robot centaur, and that, in my book, is pretty excellent. All the other Overwatch heroes are bipedal, so it was about time we got a hero with some extra extremities. And you know what? For a robot that looks like a Skylander or an iPod dock with some big ideas, she's really expressive. Her big round eyes do most of her emoting for her, but then the emotes themselves are great fun. She can rear up or kick dust about like a horse, or you can make her pretend to be a traffic warden, which is bizarre and delightful. Can she actually stop cars though? No, she cannot. Her sprays have really good potential for ruining the sprays of others though, so that's a big plus. Number 5. Environmental Kills Of all the heroes in Overwatch, I've spent the most time by far playing as Lucio, with Farrah not that far behind. It should come as no surprise then that I really, really like environmental kills, and that I absolutely adore Arisa's Graviton Charge. Have a look at this play of the game I got. Now that is utterly delicious, and in terms of positioning, it's pretty easy to pull off. To get an environmental kill as Lucio on Elios requires you to be in the right spot, at the right range, at the right time, but with Orisa you can just fart out the graviton charge and detonate it over the well. It takes a bit of getting used to, sure, but I'm not too proud to admit I gave a little squeal of delight when this happened. The Graviton Charge is also brilliant for pulling people out from around corners, like that sneaky little side staircase in Eichenwald. Or you can use it to clump up your enemies and reset your aim. It doesn't leave you with a big window, but popping a Graviton Charge into a group will still give you a decent chance to do some damage knowing exactly where they'll be, rather than relying on twitch reflexes. And did I mention you can use it to drop people down a well? Let's watch one more time. Number 6. That Ult Arisa's ultimate ability isn't showy. You'll never pull off anything like a perfectly timed self-destruct sequence or an insane flanking death blossom, and while it's never going to hand you a quintuple kill with an easy press of Q, jamming the weird supercharger doodad on the floor can be really effective and, most importantly, hugely satisfying. Sometimes, when you slap the supercharger down on the floor, you can feel your teammates getting that extra little confidence boost. It's like ulting as Lucio, you can drop the beat in the middle of a teamfight and you'll see other players switch from backpedalling to a more offensive approach. That ult can often be the little push that makes them think, no wait, I do want to go in. Doing that as a Orisa and buffing everyone's damage feels pretty good, and I think for the other team, it's also fairly intimidating. Number 7. I have a horrible feeling she's going to get nerfed. Part of the reason I'm spending as many of my games as possible playing as Orisa at the minute is because I worry she's going to end up getting nerfed. Considering how effective her abilities are, I feel like the cooldowns are really pretty short, perhaps too short. Now obviously for me, that's delightful, I'm having a lot of fun using them, but I have a sneaking suspicion they're going to come under review. And for that reason, for the foreseeable future, I'm going to be maining a weird, supporty, tanky, traffic warden thing that looks like a sewing machine on steroids. Even if her skins aren't very good. So yeah, Arisa, you're a bit weird and nobody went nuts for you in the same way they did for a Cyclopean pensioner, but I love you all the same. Anyway, hopefully you enjoyed this slightly rambling look at Overwatch's latest hero. If you did, we've got loads of other videos for you to watch. Why not watch all the other Overwatch heroes get hit by a car, for instance? That's a fun one. Or Chris has a feature on why Overwatch's sound design makes you a better player. Do give this video a like and consider subscribing, but really there's no pressure. Either way, thanks for watching and have a lovely day. Day.